Okay, so with very much installed, I'm just going to go back and reload it. Uh, so we'll reopen it. The question is, how do I set up SSH? So first thing you got to do is SSHD like that. Okay, and this will generate the key pair for you. Um, okay, now what we'll do is if I go cd.ssh, which is how we get into a hidden directory, and I look at the authorized key file, what I'm going to do is go to my Mac, okay, and I, okay, I'm going to go to my Mac and I'm going to paste this command. This is how we generate a key for the passport. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to clear, and the key that I made, I'm going to cat it so I can copy paste it into my device. So I'm going to say cat ID, and so there's the key, all right? And so I'm going to take that key, and now I'm going to go into OWL files, the tool that I use to send files to my device, and I'm simply going to open up a text or create a new text file, open it with text edit, and then I'm going to uh, paste my key. Oh, I'm just dragging that over. Paste my key in there. It's actually over on this screen. Okay, so I'll save that. Okay, now I open up the file manager and I go to that directory. I'm going to open that key. Okay, I'm going to hit edit on the Word app that's there. So we copy that. I go back into term 49. I'm going to use nano to edit the authorized key file. And I'm just going to go down one. And then I'm going to go paste, control O to save, control X, note. And now with that part done, I will start the service again. Like that. OK, and see how it's listening. OK, and now for the tricky part. So because I'm on a newer Mac, this is what I have to do. Now, Windows, it's a little bit different. So I'll just zoom in on here. So that's the command, OK? OK, so with it running on the device, I'm going to paste that command inside, and I'm going to hit Enter. OK, and now I am in SSH on the device. Now, you have to keep this running, obviously. If you hit, uh, you know, Cancel here, it'll go back, and then it closes the connection. Now, one thing that you can do is you can actually put that, that command that I showed on the screen in the config file, and then you can just call it by its host name, and that's how you quickly connect from the shell. I'll recap these dis instructions in the description of the video.